I was born and raised in the United States, um, born in Brooklyn, New York, but I was raised in Southwest Massachusetts and fully raised in York, Pennsylvania. I, I've lived in the United States my whole entire life, um, but when it came to learning English, um, my mom actually put me as Spanish as my second language. So when I went to school, I was immediately put in ES ESL courses, which is like a class where you are learning how to speak English. I started to learn English um, when I was around fifth or sixth grade. I remember I was taking ESL courses, learning how to speak proper English, grammar, verbs, nonverbs, adverbs, adjectives. I would say um, I don't remember my middle school teachers, but I do remember my high school teacher. I started, uh, when I started high school, I immediately started ESL courses again, just because I haven't reached that level to be able to be on my own and, you know, do essays on my own. And so I was still there until I hit 11th grade. I officially got out and she's always been there throughout my whole entire English journey. Like she's seen my growth from when I first started to when I came to college. I was so scared. I was so scared coming to college. I was terrified. I told her that I did not want to go to college um, just because of how hard the English language is. It's just so hard for me. Um, I've had professors who basically would tell me how bad my English writing is and just make me feel bad, but nobody knows the struggle it went through just to know the English language. I would say I'm, it was easy to learn to have friends, but I was the type of person that I wouldn't hang out with a bunch of people. I would just isolate myself and like if I needed help, I'll go to my ESL teacher from high school. Like I wouldn't rely on other people to help me just because I didn't want to bother them. Like I just felt that my teacher could help me in correcting my papers or whatever that I needed to re-understood, re to repeat for me.